What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I want to show you guys two methods on how you could get double-sided materials in Unreal Engine. The first method we're going to do strictly in Unreal Engine. And then the second method, I'm going to show you how you can take your materials from Cinema 4D into Unreal Engine and make them a double-sided material. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I'm starting off in Unreal Engine. You can see we have our viewport here, just our standard viewport. And so I'm going to click on something in my viewport here and just click G on my keyboard. And that way it gets rid of all the icons and everything. So I'm going to get started by coming over here to where it says place actors. And I'm just going to look for a plane. I'm going to click and drag this into my scene. I'm going to drag this up a little bit. And to get rid of this lighting thing right here, I'm just going to click on my light source. And then come to movable. And that gets rid of that there. Now I'm going to click back on my plane. Double click on it so it brings us into view. And then I'm just going to make this upright. So on my Y position over here, my transform. Let's make this 90. And then I can make it a little bit larger as well. So maybe three by three by three for the X, Y, and Z there. And as you can see on the front of my panel here, you can see that we can see it perfectly fine. But if I hold down the Alt key and left click and drag around it, you can see that it's see-through. We don't have a back end. And that's because we don't have a double-sided material on here. That's just the way Unreal works, but it's real easy to figure out. So if I come down here into my content browser, then I'm gonna right click, come to materials, I'm just going to double click on my material and right here we're just going to make a real basic material just a solid color so i'm going to click on my base color just click and drag with my left mouse button and then i'm just going to type in vector and then i'm going to scroll up to the top let's maybe do a constant four vector right there so that's rgb plus alpha and then over here where it says constant i'm just going to click on the black and that brings up our color picker and for this one i could just make it solid red just something real simple so now we have our solid red color and if i click apply and then i'm going to swing this back around here so i'm going to move this out of the way click on my plane hold the left alt key button left click and i'm just going to swing around here i'm just going to click and drag this on here and you can see that we have our material on here and everything looks good but if i swing it around to the back again we don't see anything and that's because we don't have this as a double-sided material so if i'm back in my materials palette here and I click on new materials down here in the lower left hand corner under details I just have to scroll down a little bit so I see materials and then right here you'll see it says two-sided materials so I'm going to click on this and then click apply again and you'll see it right here boom we have a double-sided material so if I click and drag this around again you can see now we have a material on both sides so it's just quick and easy, not too complicated, but sometimes in Unreal, you don't know where to look for things. And I noticed this was a question earlier in the week and somebody asked me and I'm like, sometimes it's just easier to show it than explain it. So hopefully this helped you out. But for this next part is for my Cinema 4D artist. I know we had another viewer out there asking every time he brings his materials in from Cinema and he does this type of movement here, he only sees one side of the plane. And so again, I'm going to show you guys how you could bring this from Cinema into Unreal and apply the same effects but since it's an instance it's going to be a little bit different so i have cinema 4d open right here and i'm actually going to only make a material here so if i double click down here where it says map and i could just name this one two-sided something like that and then if i double click to bring up my color editor let's make this one blue just so we have a difference in color there and so that's all i'm going to need from cinema this is just for example purposes i'm going to bring it into our same exact scene and so to save this project for Unreal, I'm going to come up to File. And right here where it says Save Project for Cineware, or if you're using version R20 or earlier, it's going to be called Save Project for Melange, but it does the same exact thing. So I'm just going to click on this. And then right here, I could just name this C4D Material. So we know that it's coming from Cinema. Then I'm just going to save it to my desktop here. Click Save. And then I'm actually going to open up Unreal Engine again. So let me open up Unreal here. And we still have our same scene as before, but now we're going to import our material from Cinema 4D. And so right here, I have this plugin called the Datasmith plugin. And if you're not sure how to activate it, just go to my channel. I have like a variety of different tutorials showing you how you can activate this and even make it permanently enabled like I have it here. But I'm not going to get into that in this tutorial. I'm just going to click on Datasmith. And then I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to find that material right here where it says C4D material. This is the one that we just saved out. So I'm going to click open. I'm going to select it to my content folder here. And then I can leave everything checkmarked if I want to. But honestly, we only have a material coming over, but it's not going to make that big of a difference. So I'm going to click on import here. And if I double click on my material, you see we have a two sided material here. 
So if I double click on my plane again to bring this back into view, if I click and drag this onto here, you can see that we have a plane here. And again, if I swing around to the back, we don't have it as a double side material. And so now that we have our Cinema 4D material in here, we're gonna double click on this material to bring up our palette here. And you can see it looks a little bit different than the one that we had previously in Unreal Engine. And that's because this is a material instance that we're bringing in from Cinema 4D, but it's real easy to pull in the double-sided material here as well. So if I come down here to where it says General, and then where it says Material Property Overrides, I'm gonna click on this. And you can see right here, it says two-sided. This is the same exact thing as we did before. So I'm gonna turn this on. But let me pull this over because we see that it didn't do anything yet. And that's because we have to check mark it on again right here. So if I click this on, boom, there we go. Now we have a double sided material in Unreal. So hopefully this helped you guys out, whether you're working straight in Unreal Engine or bringing stuff over from Cinema 4D. This is the way that we could get double sided material so we can see both sides of our object. So once again, thank you to the viewer that asked me the question on how to do this earlier in the week. I'm sorry that I don't remember who sent it out to me, but hopefully this helped you out. And if this helped anybody else out, please subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below if anything that you like on the channel or you know any questions that you guys might have. And also I have a story down below as well so you can buy t-shirts and stickers and things of that nature and then as well i have a beginner's course on mograph.com where i'm teaching you unreal engine for motion graphics artists and i even have a chapter in there all about cinema 40 and unreal and how they correlate together so if you are new to unreal engine make sure you go check that out i'll leave that link down in my description so until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you guys again i'll see you soon take care